This video is sponsored by Ramil Herbs. These two young brothers are on a mission to help men reach their peak performance with their potent herbal formulas. I personally use their night-night formula, and it has helped me to sleep better and wake up ready to take on my busy day. Check this out. They're offering all of my viewers a special discount to try their products as well. Simply use code ROMWILLS at checkout, and you can buy one, get one free on anything in the store. They have a 100% no questions asked money back guarantee if you aren't 100% satisfied. Check them out today. A link for their website is in the description box. Hello there. This is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another video. Value yourself sexually. Value yourself sexually. And look, we just got to be raw about something on here, right? A lot of men be giving away the dick. Seriously, a lot of men just be so quick talking about, I'm going to get laid, I'm going to get laid. You just give it away. Understand something. It ain't just the woman opening herself up and being receptive to sex. She getting something from you. She getting something from you. She's getting pleasure from you. She's getting something. So you got to value what you bring into the table. And this is on several levels. This is on several levels. Okay, like just the basic, okay, two people get together. It ain't just like she just, well, hopefully she ain't just laying there and stuff and doing you a favor. She getting something out of it. Even if she don't have an orgasm, she getting something out of it. And especially if you really about satisfying her, oh, she getting something out of it big time. She getting something out of it big time. She getting some pleasure, especially in cases where it ain't about love or relationship. You know, she just she just wanted some. She just needed like a hot beef injection and stuff. You bringing that to her. And in a situation, she doing you a favor. You doing her a favor. Understand that because a lot of women out here going crazy because they despite what some people think, they ain't getting it as easily as many men thinking. You doing her a favor. You taking out time out of your busy day to give her some D. So you got to value that just on a basic level. And then think about it. If a man has sex with a woman, he get his what? Let's just say average. If he's doing really well, his uh, uh, 30 minutes of uh, entertainment. You know, he, he getting that. She's actually getting some more out of it. Because think about something. She can get pregnant. And, you know, there's been recent talk about how some women be trapping some men, you know, on T, you know, some TV shows, you know, like on that insecure thing. I've talked about it. I mean, they get a baby. They can get a baby from your seed. I mean, just think about it just in terms of how valuable her, your seed is. That little one little seed, that tiny microscopic thing. She can get a baby out of it. Depending on how much money you make it, she can make money off of that. I want y'all to take them seriously. It might be some cold-blooded uh, shit to say, but she can get money, whether it's like child support from you or support from the state. Think about it. Your one little tiny seed. You know, you think in just 30 minutes of entertainment, that one little tiny seed can have her taken care of for at least 18 years. And then you got a lot of single mothers they might have multiple babies, but they can, seriously, they can go for it. Now, I got respect for like some single mothers who try to make it on their own and everything. They ain't trying to get stuff out of the father or the state. I got the utmost respect for them. I know some guys got some issues with them, but I actually got very much respect for them. But let's just be real for a lot of women. They looking, they looking, they, they, they talking about they getting a kid, they can get support. In some cases they can get a husband. And I'm like, well, wait a minute. You just thinking 30 minutes. Think about it. I want y'all, I want y'all seriously think about it. What you bring into the table. Like women acting like they doing you a favor, you doing them a favor. Seriously, like a lot of guys gotta value their seed. And indeed, many men need to get to the point where uh, they make a woman work for it. Seriously, if you look at the men, like a lot of people know about how I call the top men Mr. Goodbar. 
one of the things they do is they make a woman work for their attention. Or you get a lot of guys who are talking about pimps and stuff. They want to learn game from the pimps and everything. Pimps don't casually give their workers uh, any D. That, that woman got to earn it. She got to put some money in his pocket. She got to earn it. Then he'll give her the reward because he understands the pimp, the top level players understand the one thing. That woman wants your shit more than you probably want hers. And they get so, think about all they're getting out of it. Like I said, the pleasure, possible child, possible support, you know? And then really, even after 18 years or something, say the parent, you know, the father don't get married or something, you cut off all that child support, you, they probably get a child that's going to like kind of take care of them. Somebody who's going to be, they get so much out of your one little seed. But see, too many men give it away. Too many men give it away. Too many men to deal with a woman only, only because she's receptive. You know, put her on a pedestal for her thing. And I'm like, hold up, hold up. They getting something out of it. You know, they getting something out of it. Like, why are you putting her on a pedestal? First of all, there's an abundance of women. If that woman acting funky, say, well, you got to do this and this and this. Here's what you ask a woman. Here's what you ask a woman. It's like, well, uh, can you provide me some references of men who, after they had sex with you, were able to go make a lot of money, were able to reach their dreams, were able to take it to another level? And I'm dead serious on that. Ask yourself, other than uh, entertainment, what you getting out of it? Seriously. Now, there are some women. Now, there really are some women who, if you had sex with them, they they can take it to another level. I've know some. I got some. Uh, I got some friends like that, right? And I can see them, but let's be real. Most guys ain't gonna get that from them. All the men getting from a many women out here is they just busting their nut. Hell, there might be some occasions. It'd be a man pull his own shit, and I'm dead serious. It might be some occasions and stuff. A man gotta value what he bringing. Like I said. You know, don't put the woman on a pedestal just because, you know, she got some wetness between her legs and she giving you that pleasure. Yeah, the pleasure's good. Hey, it's fine, but understand, I always talk about fair exchange is no robbery. Is it truly a fair exchange? The potential of what you can give her. Think about it. She can live off your seed for 18 years. <laughs> Brittany Renner, you know, live off your seed for 18 years at least. And then I'm serious, and you do got some single mothers. Uh, they got that. Uh, they got that game, especially some like in uh, uh, poor areas. Oh, they shit. They get it from you. They might get it from you and the state. <laughs> Seriously, there's some women living very well off off of the like multiple children. I'm like, well, wait a minute. Don't have to work anything. Got people giving them food, all everything. So they getting all this from you. But see, a lot of men don't value that. A lot of men are all sad and stuff. They putting that woman on a pedestal even, psh, even though she really ain't all that. No, you bring in something. And no, it's not fair exchange. It is not fair exchange in many cases. She getting all that from you and you just getting like 30 minutes of pleasure? Maybe not even that much. Seriously, now this ain't to say you, you hey, it ain't to say it. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, shoot, Ron loves sex. Ain't nothing to say there's any problem with it. But just understand you, what you bringing. And if you understand what you bringing, then you understand you ain't going to put up with any crap from what a woman saying, well, you got to spend this money. You got to take me to dinner and all that. I'm like, well, wait a minute. That's not equal. Like I said, if that woman has a track record, like a track record of creating some millionaires, what what she got between her legs? Like she got some furry dust there, got a cape hanging out. She can actually point to this man and say, yeah, I hooked up with him. He started making this. I'm like, okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> like a track record. She got a resume. This is my resume. You know, this is what this Miss man became better and stuff. And on a low, there's some women out there think that way too. They know it's about, it's like, it's, well, I'll use the term sacred prostitute. In some ancient cultures, that's what the women were for. And no, and it's a powerful thing. But let's be real. A lot of women ain't on there. Because let's be real on something else. Other than a man busting his nut, you ain't getting much. Because here's something a lot of men don't understand. You ejaculating and you having an orgasm are two different things. 
some men think ejaculation is orgasm. No, ejaculation is just simply or ejaculation. They're two different events. A man can have multiple orgasms, uh, but not ejaculate. That's really actually true semen retention. Have sex with a woman, but you don't ejaculate. You keep your seed, but you have multiple orgasms. There's a big difference. And let's be real, most men don't have orgasms. So you ain't even getting that. You just getting a release. And it feel good for a second. Like if you haven't, a man's having true orgasms, oh, he gonna feel it for a while. And that okay. But even then, it's still, you giving her a lot. You giving her a potential for a lot. Like I said, just think about it just on, on a, just a cold blooded tip. That one little seed, she can live off of it for 18 years. You know, she can get money. She can just sit back and just chill off that tiny seed. Meanwhile, shoot, have your account being emptied and all of that, possibly, possibly. She getting a lot, she getting a lot. So value, value, just value it. And once you value it, then you sitting at the woman and say, well, um, what are you doing for me? What am I getting out of this? And it gotta be more than pleasure. And you need to say that too. There's, she gotta be bringing something to your life. And it don't even have to be money or anything. You don't need that, you're making your own money. Is she bringing you peace of mind? I'm serious. Is she bringing you at least peace of mind? Is she willing to make you a plate? Does she have your back? Is she in submission to your mission? Seriously, value, value your dicks. I ain't want to put that in the title, but value your dicks. All right? It ain't, yeah. <laughs> it ain't something like the woman's shit is above yours. Because even her stuff. Like, you know, some women say, well, we had the babies and all of that. How you get the baby in there? You need that man's seed. So, and I'm serious on that. Value what you bring. If you value it, trust me, a lot of stuff that women be doing to some men out here will change. Will change. And plus, you will also have more self-esteem. You will look at yourself and say, hold up. I can create these babies. I can bring, uh, I can bring, uh, you know, foster life, ignite life. Oh, wait a minute. Because uh, tch, women ain't having a baby without your seed. You know, they ain't getting all this stuff without your seed. So value it. They ain't getting pleasure. Yeah, they can self-pleasure themselves, but uh, their best pleasure comes from your penis. Their best pleasure. Uh, you know, it's something called genital reflexology where there's certain points in your penis that correspond to certain points in her vagina and she will have a whole lot more pleasure. She will have a whole lot of pleasure. So you bring in so many things on so many levels and stuff. So value yourself, okay? Value what you bring to the table. Don't give it away. You know, you get some guys, I'm, I'm, look, let me be real on something. There's a lot of guys get caught up into, well, what's their leg count? What's their leg count? Shoot, most of those women probably didn't deserve it. What'd that woman do for you for her to deserve what you given her? I want y'all to think about that, all right? What did she do, all right? And men got to think that way. Top level players think that way, pimps think that way, all right? And have that same attitude. Because seriously, she can get so much out. She can go to court and get money out your account. She can get that support. She can, she can make your life hell. So just shoot, she needs to earn what you bring in, okay? So anyway, that's all I got for now, y'all. Get back with y'all later. Peace and blessings.